Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on fluctuating loads on power plant. In this video, we are going to find out what is the revenue earned per year by the power plant. Now first, I will read what is the given problem. The maximum load on a thermal power plant of 60 megawatt capacity is 50 megawatt at an annual load factor of 60%. The coal consumption is 1 kilogram per unit of energy generated and cost of coal is rupees 600 per ton of coal. Find annual revenue earned if energy is sold at rupees 1 per kilowatt hour. So this was the given question. Let us first understand what is the given data. Here plant capacity 60 megawatt is given then maximum load that is 50 megawatt. So this maximum load is also known as peak load. So we will say that this is the peak load. Then annual load factor. Annual load factor is 60%. So we will write this as a 60 divided by 100 and which is equal to 0 0.6. Then coal consumption is 1 kilogram per unit of energy generated. Now it is very important statement that is what is the meaning of per unit of energy generated. So this unit of energy generated is nothing but kilowatt hour. So we can say that coal consumption is equal to 1 kilogram per kilowatt hour. Then cost of coal. Cost of coal is rupees 600 per ton that is equal to rupees 600 per 1000 kilogram. Then energy sold. Energy sold is rupees 1 per kilowatt hour. Now we have to find out what is the revenue earned. So for that we have to first find out what is the cost of coal per year and what is the cost of energy sold. So cost of coal is the cost of purchase that we have to pay it. And this cost of energy sold that means we will get some money. So if we take the difference in between cost of energy sold minus cost of coal then we will get the answer for the revenue earned. So how to find out that? So from this given data annual load factor. So annual load factor is nothing but average load by peak load. So this annual load factor is given therefore I will write 0 0.6 is equal to this average load divided by peak load. So peak load is 50, 50 megawatt. So what is this answer for the average load? Therefore average load is equal to 50 multiplied by 0 0.6 that is 30 megawatt. Now from this average load we can calculate what is the energy generated per year. So for that average load is equal to now here annual load factor is given. That means this is the load factor for one year. So this average load if we take this average load then we have to take time period for one year. So this is very important. So this time period is in hours and we have to take time period for one year and it is in hours. So average load is equal to energy generated per year divided by time period for per uh, time period for one year then we have to take this time period in number of hours. So what is the answer for this energy generated? Therefore I will write here energy generated is equal to this average load multiplied by time period in one year in hours. So average load is nothing but it is 30, 30 megawatt multiplied by time period in one year. So there are the total number of days 365, 365 in one day there are number of hours 24 multiplied by 24 that is 8760. So we will write here 8760. So what is the answer? That is 262800. 262 
8800. Now what is the unit? Here average load is in megawatt and this is in hours. So we will write here unit that is megawatt hour. Now we will move for the next. So this is the energy generated in one year. Now we have to write what is the coal consumption per year. So how to write here or how to find out its answer. So if we observe here coal consumption is 1 kilogram per kilowatt hour. That is for 1 kilowatt hour coal consumption is 1 kilogram. So I will write here or we will compare for 1 kilowatt hour coal consumption is 1 kilogram. Now in 1 year what is the energy generated that is 262800 megawatt hour. So this megawatt we have to convert it into kilowatt. That is we will multiply here as a 10 raised to 3. So if I take here 262.8 then here 1, 2, 3 digits. So we will convert here that is 262.8 multiplied by here 10 raised to 3 and this megawatt is also getting converted into kilowatt that is 10 raised to 3 that is multiplied by 10 raised to 6 kilowatt hour then what is the coal consumption for this here is the question mark so how to solve this how to solve the answer for this question mark suppose this is the unknown term that is x then x multiplied by 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 1 multiplied by 262.8 multiplied by 10 raised to 6. So we will find out this unknown term that is x is equal to so I will write 262.8 into 10 raised to 6 multiplied by 1 divided by 1. So what is the answer here? So here x will be in um, answer will be in kilogram. So if we multiply uh, so 1 1 is getting cancelled that is 262.8 into 10 raised to 6. Now what is the unit that is kilogram. So this kilogram we have to convert into ton because cost of coal is rupees 600 per ton. So how to convert it we have to divide it by 1000. So 1 ton that means 1000 kilogram. So suppose 1000 that is 10 raised to 3. So I will write here the answer. That is 262.8 into 10 raised to 3 ton. So here if we divide here 10 raised to 3 then here 10 raised to 6 and 10 raised to 3. Now cost of coal per year. So how to calculate the cost of coal per year. So here cost of coal is given 600 per ton. That means for 1 ton cost is 600 and we have this number of tons that is 262.8 multiplied by 10 raised to 3. So we have to multiply here with 600. So I will write here 262.8 into 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 600. So 262.8 multiplied by 600 that is 157,618. 157 680 multiplied by here 10 raised to 3 as it is. And what is the as here uh, unit? So this unit because we have multiplied with this cost in rupees. So uh, here unit is rupees. That is rupees 157, 680 into 10 raised to 3. Now this is the cost of coal per year. So this coal that we have to purchase. Now we have to calculate what is the energy sold. So this energy sold is at the cost of rupees 1 per kilowatt hour. So energy sold that is here is the energy generated in one year. So for this energy generated this rupees 1 per kilowatt hour. So this megawatt hour is there so we will convert this term into kilowatt hour. That is I will write here 262. 0.8 into 10 raised to 6 kilowatt hour. Now for 1 kilowatt hour is rupees 1. So for this amount of kilowatt hour this is the rupees that we will write here. So cost of energy sold that is nothing but 262.8 into 10 raised to 6 
root pins. Now here also we will convert this term in uh, 10 raised to 6 because we have to take this 10 raised to 6 uh, we have to take the difference so it is easy for, it will be easy for us that is if i take here 157.680 then here will be 10 raised to 6 now i will take the revenue earned so from this cost of energy sold that means we will get some money and for this cost of coal we have to purchase the coal so what is the revenue earned? That is cost of energy sold minus cost of coal purchased. So we will take here the difference. That is 262.8 minus 157.68 bracket complete. We will take 10 raised to 6 as a common term. So both are having unit rupees. So I will take here 262.8 minus 157.68. 0.68 that is 105 which is equal to 105.12 into 10 raised to 6 rupees so again we can uh, simplify this so if i take these two digits that is 10512 into 10 raised to 4 rupees or we can say that this is the answer